walking around this neighborhood, you hear the chainsaws, you hear the leaf blowers, you walk into a convenience store, and that video of that car getting flipped is what people are talking about. As you can see out here, there's still a lot of work for people to do, and a few businesses are still closed. You ready, man? <laughs> awesome. Inside the forgotten toy box on Beach Boulevard, it's business almost as usual. Owner Tri Bowman says his shop was lucky. He's dealing with this hole in the ceiling, but this was his business Friday. <laughs> Next door, 90 miles from Cuba and K-Cut's barbershop are closed. A handwritten sign on the restaurant's door and a tarp on the roof. The owner at K-Cut says he doesn't know yet when they'll be able to reopen. Standing next to it, it's like this is almost as tall as me, so like I was kind of crazy. Across Beach Boulevard in Grove Park, Michael Vargas and his family have been dealing with this. They spent the weekend cutting through this tree. My first thoughts is I thank God because, you know, he protect us, make sure it didn't fall in our house. Also thankful no people or pets were hurt is Darlene Griffith. A tree she says wasn't even on her property took out her back porch and smashed holes through her walls, window, and roof. It's pretty early to be doing like storm clean, but I feel like Abner Reyes like owns a landscaping a company bit. and is still getting used to the idea of tornadoes in Jacksonville. I always thought tornadoes and I didn't think of Jacksonville, you know. The owner of the barber shop was inside his shop when the roof got ripped off during the storm. He said it was really scary. Hear more from him and take a look at the damage left behind coming up tonight on First Coast News at 11. Renata DiGregorio live in Jacksonville, First Coast News on your side.